まずはパネルディスカッションです。モデレーターは So, we would like to start the panel discussion. And the moderator will be、uh, Professor Azuma of Tokyo Tech. Thank you very much, Professor Alex. I'm、uh, steering committee chairman. My name is Masaki Azma, and I will be serving as the facilitator for the panel discussion. First, I would like to introduce you the panelists today. The first is、uh, Professor Furuhara Tadashi of Tohoku University and Professor Teranishi of Kyoto University. And the executive vice president for research of、uh, Tokyo Tech, Professor Watanabe. And the specially appointed professor, Peter Holm. And also specially appointed professor, Suzuki. And specially appointed professor, CNRS professor of、uh, An Zanaka Bentian, and the professor advanced data analysis and modeling unit,、uh, Professor Misako Takayasu, and、uh, Professor Fuji of the Laboratory for Chemistry and Life Science and Institute of Innovative Research. And Professor Takahumi Ueno of the School of Life Science and Technology, and the specially appointed,、uh, sorry, specially appointed associate professor、uh, Hannah Das, and the detailed biology of each professor. Please refer to our website. And first, we would like to ask Professor Watanabe to give us the Hello, overview、everyone. of the Tokyo Institute of Technology. So, I understand、approach. my role here is to explain Tokyo Tech's university level approach for promoting international research collaborations. So, let me use、uh, this slide for explaining it. I hope you can see this. Okay. So,、uh, let me start. Uh, with a brief overview of Tokyo Tech. We have about a little bit more than 10,000 students. Among them, half of them are graduate students. We have 1,600 international students、uh, coming over from overseas, and most of them are graduate students. We have about 1,100 faculty members and 500、uh, fixed term、uh, faculties.、Uh, their research fields are distributed. Like this, very roughly like this.、Okay. Uh, as for international collaborations,、uh, I should first、uh, mention that、uh, we have many partner、uh, institutions around the world. I also want to、uh, say that about、uh, the increase of internationally co authored publications.、Uh, this uh, is uh, uh, about only for journal articles,、uh, but it shows our progress. Uh, for example, uh, So,、uh, in, uh, in our progress in ratio and in number. And for example,、uh, the percentage of、uh, internationally co authored public journal publication is now more than 40%. Now,、uh, let's move on to,、uh, to Tokyo Tech's strategy and actions for、uh, international collaborations.、Uh, here, I enumerated、uh, the importance of、uh, international collaborations, but、uh, let me skip it for now. And then jump into the key points、uh, for the collaboration. I, uh, I think uh, that the first key point is、uh, the individual, very good individual、uh, collaborations. We need to understand this. And,、uh, and I strongly believe in this uh, from my uh, small personal uh, ex uh, research experience. And then our university uh, uh, provides uh, several uh, supports. Uh, for uh, uh, giving opportunities to start a new collaborations, individual collaborations. Then、uh, the next step、uh, is to extend uh, this, uh, uh, these individual, individual collaborations, uh, systematic uh, ones. In fact,、uh, systematic collaborations would provide opportunities for new individual collaborations. Again, we have several actions for organizing、uh, systematic collaborations. Let me first explain these actions.、Uh, for large scale、uh, international collaborations, we have developed several consortia 
with our partner institutions. The Aspire League is a typical example. Uh, another tool, uh, important tool, is Tokyo Tech Annex. A Tokyo Tech Annex is a strategic overseas hub for identifying potential seeds for international joint research as well as joint educational programs. We have already have one in Bangkok in Thailand and one in Arhen in Germany. We are planning to start a new office in US soon. Now, uh, let me go back to individual collaborations. For promoting such collaborations, we Tokyo Tech is offering various travel grants. In particular, there are grants for sending faculty members abroad for relatively longer period. And for establishing a new collaboration, it is important to visit the counterpart and stay there for a certain amount of time. And then of course, for this, it is important to allow faculty members to leave for some month. And for this, we have started some system for junior faculty members. Uh, Tokyo Tech Office for Fundamental Research runs comprehensive academy, which is very roughly speaking, a system for offering to all new assistant professors a period of three months to focus on establishing their career path as professional researchers. They might use this period for uh, visiting their overseas collaborators. Then uh, we also have travel grants for inviting uh, visiting researchers. Here again, we think it is important to have visitors for reasonable length. And for this, it is important uh, the import, what is important is the secure housing system. We have an international house of reasonable size at Okama campus. I think we should have at least some in near Suzukakedai campus. Uh, from the viewpoint of running the university, having overseas visitors uh, as a faculty members is more cost effective. This is simply because one visitor can affect many uh, researchers here, including students. From this viewpoint, I think we think the activity of the, the R, WRHI is very important. With this message, let me conclude my short presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Professor, uh, now I'd like to invite Dr. Suzuki, who has spent a uh, long time in the United States, to present. Thank you. I will present in Japanese language. I am Kenji Suzuki from Institute of Innovative Research Lab for Future Interdisciplinary Research Science and Technology. I uh, spent about 13 years in University of Chicago and three years in Institute of Illinois Institute of Technology, and I have been working at Tokyo Tech from 2017. Um, there is a world university ranking, and um, there has been a uh, high, high ranking for Japan, Singapore, China. Uh, Japan was uh, top, but now Singapore, China uh, is exceeding Japan's ranking. And I am um, part of uh, the ranking members. What's important is academic peer review, international reputation. Um, so international reputation accounts for 50% of the results of ranking. Every year, QS asks me uh, to uh, ask me to cite uh, my opinion about uh, top-ranking universities in the, uh, in the world. How China and Singapore in, uh, raise their ranking? Uh, China 
has a thousand talents plan and they are uh, uh, recruiting 1,000 innovative talents and uh, they are recruiting 1,000 talents and young scholars. And Singapore is uh, also having strategic uh, policies. And Rome was not built in a day, so Singapore and China has been working on and the increasing of the and uh, raising of their ranking for many years. And globalization is key. class research university. Is it truly global? Is it collaborating globally? Is it drawing in faculty from all over the world? Is it pulling in international students? What does this mean? They are uh, inviting top-level researchers and students from overseas. Not only that, but uh, in our uh, joint uh, research uh, network, um, it has been ad adapted by Japan. And I am uh, editing a journal. And I can invite uh, editors uh, myself. And uh, I can. Uh, recruit uh, the editing members and uh, I am not doing this but uh, I can be part of the conferences of the um, society conferences that uh, the editors I work with so international uh, reputation is quite important and international collaboration is also important for in in enhancing the world ranking we are starting to see the uh, return on investment uh, done by other countries. So if we um, uh, work on these, I think we can enhance the Japanese uh, Institute's uh, ranking. Thank you very much. So we're looking forward to see 10 years from now. So uh, the next, uh, we would like to ask uh, Professor Hena Das, uh, who also came from the United States. Sure. Can you see my presentation? Yes. Very nice okay. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Hena Das. Uh, first, I would like to extend my uh, sincere appreciation to this initiative uh, to create such an interesting world research hub at Tokyo Institute of Technology. And I also would like to thank the architects of this project for giving us the opportunity to initiate our independent research activities. On our, on my um, turn, I am really um, happy to be part of this initiative um, in the capacity of a specially appointed associate professor. I joined uh, Tokyo Institute of Technology in 2018. So um, at Tokyo Institute of Technology under WRHI, our DAS group consists of uh, four members at this moment working in various research directions. We also uh, provide guidance to the students from Azuma Imamoto lab at Tokyo Tech to study various, to help them to study various properties of materials using first principles simulations. So we study materials, properties of materials at the very fundamental level of atoms and electrons uh, considering various quantum mechanical models. And here I summarize the various uh, research directions that we are current, currently involved in. And our research up approach basically involved in developing um, material specific model by capturing relevant microscopic environment of real materials. That is the lattice, electro magnetic, electronic, and orbital, and the relevant interactions between them. And through first principle electronic structure calculations. So when we started um, our lab in 2018, we in, uh, received initial financial support from WRHI to build our computational power. And now with years, we are extending our uh, computational power from the JSPS Research Fund and with collaboration with Professor Masaki Azuma from Tokyo Institute of Technology. 
so here i summarized our most recent um, research achievements and um, as i said before we are working on various research directions primarily focusing on quantum phenomena in chemically and structurally complex oxide materials we are working in uh, strong collaborations with various uh, international and domestic domestic research uh, groups uh, we have a very strong collaboration with um, aluma imamoto lab and we are also working in collaboration with various research groups from united states of america and uh, india so we are primarily supported by jsps fund and wrha so at the end i would like to say we are very happy to be a part of wrha and the tokyo institute of technology and we'll be happy to be associated in future or, or in the coming days as well thank you for your attention thank you hena え続いては、高安先生のサテライドラボにも参加されている WRHI。So networks are all around us, uh, from social networks to the internet, from、uh, financial networks to our brains, from power grids to the metabolism of our bodies.、Um, we can use this common mathematical and computational framework to describe this system. We can model them as networks, and the shape of the networks affect the way these systems function. So network science is about connecting structure and function, both for the sake of science to understand the world around us. And also for engineering to improve things, but science itself is also a network, or maybe you can say many types of networks. So it's a collaboration network. So my my own collaboration network connects me to my group, to my colleagues at the Tokyo Tech, and to in, my international collaborators. And like、uh, going to their collaborators one step further, I'm connected to thousands of other scientists worldwide. And there is a、uh, well-known effect in network science called the funneling effect, saying that、uh, two nodes、uh, are typically connected by the same intermediate hubs.、Um, WRHI is actually such a hub connecting Japan to the rest of the world. So it's a privilege for me to be in such a location where people literally come to seek connections through me or the WRHI. But、uh, science is also a network of ideas. So I like network science a lot because it's very interdisciplinary. So I get the chance to work with people from biology, social sciences, mathematics, and many other disciplines. And WRHI is also a hub in this respect. So、uh, truly groundbreaking science has to happen at the interface between disciplines, and、uh, for that reason, also WRHI provides a really nice, exciting environment for us. And finally, we heard a lot about COVID-19. So of course, it had a lot of destructive impact on the research collaboration. And like many people here, I'm an international person.、Uh, my best research comes from my international collaborations.、Uh, but COVID-19 taught us that we can actually do international collaboration more efficiently online than we thought before. On the other hand, the best ideas we get them face to face. So when the world can open up again. Uh, through vaccines or us learning to control COVID-19,、uh, WRHI or similar centers will be、uh, really critical to connect the world, both in the physical space and with our new online collaboration skills. And then I also wanted to know that we're working on、uh, stopping COVID-19.、Uh, we heard the talks by Professors Takayasu and Havlin,、uh, Professor Alan Baral, and I have ongoing research projects and our new recruit. Professor Colisa is、uh, doing even better, being an advisor for French government and something of a media star. So thank you very much. Thank you very much.、Uh, the、uh, discussion online or face-to-face -face is one of the key issue, key topic in this、uh, kind of discussion. Thank you very much.
続いてはサテライトラボを運営されている藤井先生、上野先生にお話を伺います。Next, I'd like to invite、uh, Professor Fujii, Professor Ueno, who run the Satellite Lab, to speak.、Uh, Professor Fujii, first, please. <coughs> yes. Okay, thank you for the introduction. It's a great pleasure to show you our achievement of the, interna the international collaboration by the Satellite Lab. Together with the world leading members, like、uh, the Professor Zenaka, Professor Otto Doppa, Professor Lizzi, Professor Sotil Sanchez, and so on, so many people. Please see my website. So, they shortly we published a 25 international collaboration paper in these four years. And this corresponds to the 30% of my overall international collaborations papers. So, that's very efficient because I took 35 years for the publish for the 80 papers for the collaboration, international collaboration. And the quality is very high. That's, for example, like、uh, the chemical review, that one of the, the top leading the review journals the, with, together with Otto, and also, also the five journal, pep, journal cover papers. Journal cover means for the, the paper is top quality. The, that's one of them already showed, the, <coughs> the, shown by the, the Anzenakas. And it has some kind of hint how that to promote the, the international collaborations. This is showing up my international collaboration papers for years. I had、uh, the JSPS Quad to Quad program, the 2010 to 2014, and、uh, I had a nice publication. But after a while, a little bit going down. That's the day that that's what happens. But after, after the starting for the World Research Hub, that jump up. s That means long continuous support is very important you, you know, for efficiency, much more higher. Even for the coronavirus time, We already published the five papers in this year, and the three submitted, two is in, in preparation. So, efficiency is not dropped down so much. So, the, you can understand how the continuous support is important. But, of course, for the, I have to say, we are using the, the already existing resources, like we already have some ideas, data that's published. That, this is okay. We can do it for the Zoom and Skype sessions. But to get for the new idea, Deep understandings that definitely require the face to face discussions. So we have to visit each other. So mutual visit also m a k e for the mutual trust. It is not so, so obviously talking the presented by the international collaboration, but for the, if you met, met somebody in the conference, can you trust and start for the international collaboration? s We have to, to visit and stay a certain time and they chat and they make the new ideas. This is very important. Also, this is very important stage for the new generations because if the supervisors were both trust each other and send the, these members to the each other, both can be the friend and immediately like, like a families. And then the youth also trust each other and this is become a source of the future the international collaboration. Indeed, that happened for the members like、uh, the, the Professor Zenakas. We met 25 years ago for this. Both supervisors had a Spring Japan collaboration. That's, a, that's kind of the proof. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. So now I would like to ask Professor Ueno. So now I would like to make a presentation and introduce you about the Satellite Lab for Innovative Synthetic Biology. From last year, summer, we had started our activity, and this is more like a university wide globalization hub. And as Professor Azuma explained, from various different countries, from like MIT, Cynthia Carr, or Manchester. We have the renowned researchers, and as for the cell biology or innovative synthetic biology, we have conducting the researchers. And also, utilizing this characteristic of a university, 
that uh, under the support of the uh, cell biology lab, uh, we are conducting the research activities. So as the uh, Dr. Pendrin of MIT says, we are also trying to deal with the COVID-19, and we are also uh, participating to COVID-19 task force, and especially as for the innovative synthetic biology and how we should utilize a satellite lab is that it should be beyond the, uh, the research and study, but we should be collaborating within our university. And as Professor Watanabe mentioned, that the top uh, the tech university in Asia and also for the joint uh, research and st studies and also our Tokyo Tech Core University, the exchange program with Tech University. It should also be incorporated within this uh, WRHI satellite lab. And I would like to show you some detail of what we're doing that from last year, for those visiting researchers, we have the office space, and also we have the material research lab and biological research lab. And here the young researchers can actively be study, and also when they go back to their own country, they can continue on working this. And because of the COVID-19, that is very difficult for them to actually come back to Tokyo Tech. But they have conducting continuously on their own research and also to have the remote joint study, but we already have this kind of the real physical exchange forum, so we can have the Zoom exchanges. So by using the satellite lab, we will be able to activate the young uh, researchers for continuous promotion of international R&D. And also, uh, we can consider about the, uh, the risk mitigation, considering about the regionality. Thank you very much.